I've already done the break-in period for the belt, but I am going to be taking a little bit easy here. Good morning, good morning. Rye Guy here. After a few of my co-workers purchased some new, or new to them, toys for the off-road, they expressed interest in getting together for a run to learn some new trails and get comfortable with the new machines. That's exactly what we're doing here today. We're starting off in Eller's house next to Highway 101 in Nova Scotia and heading to one of my favorite places to fill up on chicken wings, Wingin' at Restaurant in Tantallon. The link to Wingin' at Restaurant is in the description below, so make sure you check that out if you're local. Today's ride will be a comfortable one. Not too fast, not too aggressive. Just getting out to run the machines in early fall. Boy, it's rainy. The leaves are just starting to change color. So sit back and enjoy this one. Albeit to start off with a rainy morning. Today, getting some uh, some of their first taste of mud, water, and whatever else we're gonna get into. A couple brand, well, almost brand hammer new uh, CF Moto uh, Z Force trails. Great narrow ones, 50 inches. people who are out today who are just brand hammer new to uh, to the world of off-roading um, so it's kind of neat you know getting more people out into the sport that's exactly what I'm trying to do with my YouTube channel is to show people that yeah you got to invest a little bit of money into a toy and we understand that uh, but at the same time it gets you places where you wouldn't be able to normally get to and get out with you know a bunch of people a group of friends even strangers, anybody on any of the, the forums or the groups or anything like that can post any time to say, hey, I want to go for a ride, I'm new to this sport. Can anybody show me where to go? And like 20 or 30 people will pipe up immediately and say, yeah, we're going up this weekend, let's go. So, it is kind of an off-road community, especially around Nova Scotia. There's so many of these uh, machines around now. to get used to running in uh, some different terrain so Fred's leading the run he's picked the route he already did a, uh, a pre-run I'd say over the last Wednesday or Thursday just to see what uh, what the route was gonna be and where we're gonna go and anyway he did find there was a couple spots that we have to bypass just because of the washouts that happened a couple years back maybe it was just last year anyway regardless new to the sport yeah gotta kind of get yourself used to running in different terrains and running with a group of ATVs and side by sides who are experienced in that it's definitely gonna help today where it's a little bit slippery. I'm still in two-wheel drive and I felt the uh, the RSN slide out a little bit. How's 
to talk in the lazy days. It's, uh, it is kind of nice just to putter along like this. I mean, I did quite a bit of that when I uh, was in Newfoundland, which if you haven't seen that series, just go to my uh, channel and uh, you can find the Newfoundland Overland Series uh, 2024. We did a West Coast tour, 1,406 kilometers of total out to me. But uh, it is nice to just putter along like this in the woods. You know, the weather's a little bit crappy, but it's not a real cold rain because it's September, I think September 20 something. It'll be here. And anyway, it's, uh, you, you don't really, if you're blasting through the woods all the time, you don't really get to see, you know, wildlife or, you know, the leaves are changing colors. It's not real super bright yet, but it's, uh, it's definitely that time of year. starting to get brighter now so that's good it's still raining on and off but uh, what it is it is what it is when we get to the end of this road uh lazy day is going to branch off go look for some camping spots for uh him and his buddies and his wife and stuff like that so he's going to meet us down at the, the restaurant, or close to the restaurant, after he's done doing some uh, recce. Right on. Because we're going all the way to Hubbard, so if we get on the rail bed at noon, a lot of them should already be gone. Okay, right on. Nice area in here to stop. Um, you could have a little fire in here if you're careful, obviously. This little brook and river. We'll go over here a little bit. Yeah, you could pitch a tent in here if you too, if you wanted to. Raining in the woods. Man, I love the woods. No place I'd rather be. Keep your oceanfront property, your lakeside cabins. Love to be in the woods next to, next to a brook. That was beautiful when.
when we stopped. And here we go. It's raining again. Pretty good rain too. Uh, come on. My gloves are wet and they're hard to get on. Okay. Reverse. Forward. the clouds the rain just stopped there's a downpour then it was just boom stop hello hey we're just coming uh, out the end of tote road here now getting closer to Ingramport. I don't know where you're at, but we're going to be doing another loop around here first before we head to the very bottom of Ingramport, so. Okay. I'll, I'll be there. Okay, no problem. Yes, sir. All good, dude. Just give me a call. I'll meet you at the... Uh, yeah, I'll be right by the airport when you go. There's a parking area there at the bottom where you go up. Okay, no problem. Uh, yep, see you soon. Bye-bye. Back. Bye. Bye.
Oh, he couldn't get out. Oh, she's stuck in the zipper too. Well, not just me. There's a guy up there in the in the renegade Dylan. That thing's got a on-off switch for a throttle. That's that's a Can-Am uh, stereotype right there. I do it too, so I, <laughs> I'm guilty of it. Playing with the throttle a little bit, listening to the blow-off valve. We're gonna go make another stop before we uh, head to winging it. We're gonna stop at uh, I guess the top of Ingleport Hill which you can overlook part of the ocean, so that'll be cool. These guys haven't been there before. It's always a nice view. So we're sitting there just talking. It was nice and sunny, then all of a sudden it clouded over and rained again. So those rain clouds are just falling us the whole way down here. A couple guys out fishing. said it before but 30s is what that uh, CMO, CF Moto uh, U-Force needed a hundred percent cleared that rock like it was nothing Fred was saying it's a good idea to stop here for a minute because they got a bicycle rally that they started like a hundred a hundred kilometers like that way from Bears Lake I don't know how many kilometers they're actually putting on, but anyway, they're going for Bears Lake to Hubbard's. That's quite a long bike ride, but we just saw a couple go by, and they seem to be going by in some decent intervals. I can see two on the bridge there right now. So, we'll just chill out here for a little bit and enjoy the view, and then go eat wings, because I'm getting hungry. Okay. Go fight for space with some bicyclists. Hopefully, shouldn't be too bad, but get on the rails for trails, we'll know. We just, we just came across the group of bicyclists back there on the trail that was. I know they don't want us to be here, but you know what? We are here. I really don't want to be here. I would rather just drive on the road like I did in Newfoundland to go to where I need to go. If they could open up the roads, hey, here's the thing, hikers, bikers, 
walkers, whatever, how about you partition as well as us to be able to allow ATVs on these roads? Because that'll free up all of us. We can just drive the roads like everybody else. I think that would be problem solved, wouldn't you? So here's where we need to cross the road, and it gets a little tricky here, so it can get kind of heavy in traffic. But because we're not allowed on the road, we're not going to cross the road, we're going to hit hover mode. And once hover mode is, is it picks the machine up from the sky and drops it where it needs to go. Right? Right. Winging at restaurant for accommodating our crew. Always appreciative. I ordered a thing of 20, a sample platter of 20 wings, and I can finish 12. I just told that uh, dual sport rider to just honk his horn when he passes by some of these guys because I know he wants to go at a faster pace. So I guess it's a good idea if you're at the back of the convoy, like I'm just bringing up the rear here, and uh, you got anybody wanting to go for a faster pace behind and pass our system or pass our convoy, just let them know that you know we're going to go at a steady pace here, and to just make sure that he's noticed as he's going by. So, give me no dramas. See, he's already at the front of the pack, basically, so. All about mutual respect for off-roading like that.
to the trucks here now. It's just all this gravel road stuff here now for another couple kilometers. So uh, thanks for joining me on this run. This was a co-worker wing run. I don't know what else to call it, but um, I hope everybody who uh, was on this run had a good time. It was some kind of virgin territory for some uh, new riders, new, uh, new to the sport. So I hope you had fun and uh, you'll end up coming back with me and uh, enjoying the sport of side-by-side -side and ATV driving in Nova Scotia. So thank you, the viewers, for joining me on this run. My name is Ryguy8888. If you do like these types of videos, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. And we'll see you guys on the next run. Ryguy out. Something magical cause no one there